Good morning. Today we're going to talk about a sound that we've worked on before, the ER. But today we're going to talk about how there's different ways to spell the ER. We've had before the IR and the UR, but today we're going to talk about the OR and the AR. So we've had ER as in her, UR as in her, hurt, I-R as in bird. The spellings today are really focused on the A-R and the O-R. So we're going to go to our spelling tree and we're going to look at some of these words. Let's start with this guy here. T-H says th. We have that I-R that says er, t. No, two E's. E, n, th, er. 13. Which one is that going to go in? The ER, the IR, the OR, the AR, or the UR? Think about it. The IR. Go to our next one. Some friends are going to recognize this word automatically. Sound it out. Eh, m, b, er, g, er. Ooh, that one's tricky because we have that er in both, but we're going to use the one that's not so much used most of the time. We usually see the er. Let's see what this one now. So has it has the think about it. U r. Let's try this one. A, uh, m, d, er, sh, er. Undershirt. I don't want us looking at this ER right now. Let's see what other one we have. Think about it. The IR. Or you can kind of put that in the middle, huh? Because it has both. Okay. Er, mm, firm. Which one is that going to go into? Think about it. I R. S er, r, al, and surround. Where is it going to go? You are. Good job. Sound it out together. A, s, p, er, and aspirin. Think about it. I-R, b, er, n't, burnt. Think about it. You are. Okay, let's get some of these ones that are way at the bottom. St, eh, n, d, erd, standard. Now, when we're reading these, if I sound this out and I did the R with the A-R, it'd be st, eh. And ard. That doesn't sound right. That's why it has that er sound. Standard. It would be with our ar. So if you're looking at that word and that r sound doesn't sound right, try the er sound. And you can usually see that it's the some of the exceptions. Er t flirt. Think about it. I R. Oh, this one's tricky. My friends that have seen me know that when C is followed by E I or Y, it says S. So that C is not going to go. It's going to go S. S. R. Seller. Okay, think about it. Seller. That one is. L I Z R D Lizard. Think about it. M A S T R D 
mustard. Think about it. Oh my goodness, let's look at this big one. Remember that TH? Er, m, a, m, e, t, er. Thermometer. That was a big one. Where do you think it's going to go? Think about it. E I I R O R A R U R. They all have the er sound. E R. Uh, uh, er, color. Got it? Now, this is sometimes we do have that or that says or, or, ch, er, d, orchard. Some friends are going to put this in the wrong one. It's not the or, it's the saying er, it doesn't say orchard. It says orchard, and it's going to go with our air. Act er, actor. Think about it. A b er, labor. Where is it going to go? O-R. This one. D. A. L. Er. Dollar. Where is it going to go? Think about it. O-R. <gasps> no, that's air. It's going to be tricky. P. O. L. Er. Polar. That makes a long O because it breaks there in that syllable. Polar. Hair. St. Or. -y. History. It doesn't say ori. It doesn't say history. It says history. History. Goes in our. O R. Do one last one. M A J R. Major. Okay. So you can practice by reading some of these words. I'm gonna put a couple more up here, and I want you to look through them and try to sound them out. I'm gonna give you a second, and I'm going to read them myself. We'll start with this guy. Entertain. Entertain. I -er -nate. Hibernate. T -n -d -er -l. Oh, that O I says oi. N Tenderloin. G R M -m -er. Grammar. E F -er effort. D A -d -er. Doctor. After this, listening to this video, you're going to be going to your worksheet in Schoology. I'm going to pull up what we usually see in class and go over the words that you're going to use to put in for the answers so that we understand what our vocabulary is and how to sound it out. The first word, d -al -er, dollar, a form of payment. Actor, actor is someone that does a play what they are called, color, color, like colors that we write with, with our, with our crayons, red, yellow, is, t, -er 
history, like what we've been listening uh, and listening and learning, working on history, knowing the pa uh, events of the past. D doctor, doctor, someone that you see when you're ill. Polar, polar, like when we think of the polar um, caps, they're on the north or the south of our world. And they're usually really cold. Some animals are called polar because they live in those areas. Calendar. Calendar, like the what, how we keep track of time by days and months. Is -erd lizard, which is an animal. What is -erd wizard? In stories, they have magic. M -a -s -t -er -d mustard. Usually you put it on hot dogs or sandwiches. It's a condiment to use with um, food. So after you get done with this, you can refer back to this lesson to help you um, with knowing these words and what their meanings are. But the assessment, the test in doing these words will be in there for us to practice reading those words. So thank you guys and have a wonderful day.